Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back. Working in our healing journal today and there's butterflies on the cover and so I want to make some pockets today that have butterflies on them. So I went to Creative Fabrica and I got some butterflies and I arranged them in Photoshop to create a line. Now I could have done this differently. I could have used stamps. I just did it this way because I don't have one of those stamp things to align them properly. But you could surely use stamps and uh, get the same look. So what happened was I was just going to use these as journal cards. But then when I cut them, roughly middle, show you what I mean. So here's what I got when I cut them apart. You see how I have all this space here and instead of cutting them smaller I decided I was just going to notch out a section and then make this a pocket. So that's what got me started on this idea. So let me just cut these and we'll be on our way here. Of course, you wouldn't have to use butterflies. You could use any image that you wanted. I just really like the look of these that I ended up with, so I wanted to show you how I did them. And I'll give you the examples. So with these, I started with the butterflies and then I took my stamp pad and I stamped directly onto the pocket. I used speckled egg for this one and I used uh, faded jeans I think it was for this one. Then I came along with my homemade spray here and what it is is just alcohol, rubbing alcohol and I bought some cheap glitter makeup at the dollar store and it basically just adds a gold shimmer I think you can see up. I think you can see some of that. So I really liked it. And so I'm going to do a couple other things today. As you can see, I rounded the corners of those. And I do like that effect much better. So the ones that I took from the center of the page that don't have that extra, you could still make a pocket if you wanted to. This one has a little more room up top. You could make a top loading pocket. Or I could just go back to using them as journal cards, which was the original idea. I mean, there's nothing wrong with black and white. And I didn't even coffee dye these, so there's so many possibilities. And like I said, you could do this with other images as well. Wouldn't have to be butterflies. I just like them, so. And if you don't have ink pads, not to worry. There's a lot of ways you could color these or add color. 
All right, so I, with these, I thought it was cool because you can make um, the pockets load on different sides. So like this would be right loading and this one would be left loading. So you could put them on different sides of the paper. And I didn't try to do this. It just kind of happened with the margins on the paper. So, um, all right, so I'll show you the, the stamping technique just because that's what I started with here. And I will notch myself some pockets, some pocket indicators. I really like this big hole punch, it's two inch. I like it specifically for pockets. So then I get that effect and I'll do it again for these. You can go as deep or as shallow as you like. is the one I used and sorry chipped chipped sapphire is the other one I used but you could do this to match your page if you wanted I bought this um, set of 12 they were on sale otherwise I probably wouldn't have I don't actually prefer the small ones. I find them um, cumbersome. But when you want a lot of color and you just want, or you want many colors, but you don't want a lot of them, then I guess these would be good. All right, so I think I'm gonna try one in the milled lavender. So, Basically, I just took off the lid and started stamping. Now that one's already a bit dry, so I'm just gonna wet it with some water. See what happens. I should probably do this on some scrap paper first. Okay, that'll work. Actually, that'll look quite nice. So I'm trying to go all the way to the edge with these. And I'm purposely overlapping. And you could try to keep it to just the butterflies, but I kind of like the pattern of the the pad on there. So something like that. And then it's pretty much dry. So yeah, this is like one of the cheapest things to make. The only thing is my bottle doesn't always want to cooperate. I'm just going to spray this over top of my garbage so it doesn't get everywhere. And I'm trying only to spray it once because I it's, it's pretty effective. Like I can see that already and I don't want it to be overtaken just by the, the glitter spray. So you can definitely smell the alcohol. All right, so then now I'm just going to ink the edges. I just really like the look 
that I got from these. I don't remember seeing somebody do this exact technique. It just kind of came to me as I was putzing around yesterday. All right. So there's that. So then you can see some of the, like there's more gold on these. The ones I did yesterday have more gold spray on them, but I'm not sure if I and the ink too is different on the speckled egg one it took like it overpowered some of the butterfly so it colored some of the black with the chip sapphire and the milled lavender it didn't do that so the the black of the butterfly is still really strong that doesn't really matter to me i'm just that's just an observation i'm making right now but yeah you get different looks by how much you apply obviously and then what color of ink because not all inks are equally translucent so i'm just gonna put the one on top so it dries better. Okay, so I'm gonna just put those aside over here. So that's one example. And then I will put away my inks. Like I said, there's many ways you can get this look or not specifically maybe this look, but if you had a stamp um, and who says stamps are just for inks? You can use them with acrylics. You can surely use them to some degree with watercolor if you wanted to go that route, if you wanted to recreate it using something else. I'm just saying um, there's different ways to get, you know, some a similar look. Might not be exact, but... All right, so then I was thinking of trying the watercolor. Also, that sponge technique would work, I think, with the acrylic. Okay. Gonna, it's gonna get serious over here. All right, so now let's see, what color do I want to try for watercolor? What's this? Burgundy and Magic Fly. So I'm just gonna see if this one's open. It is. And I'll just put a little bit in there. Okay, that's a lot. Again, you could try it on a scrap piece of paper. For the watercolor, I'm going to use a brush. I could use a sponge also. That's pretty. Too, you could also just spatter. Or he could just kind of blob. Of course, you could use different colors as well. And you could use different paper. I mean, if you wanted to do watercolor, you could definitely start with the um, watercolor paper and I'm getting it all over so I'm gonna stop so there's that I'm just gonna let that dry for a bit here or should I spray it with the alcohol and then let them dry together 
So something like that. All right, so then with the acrylic, I have Apple Barrel Matte Pink Parfait. Sounds kind of scary. Oops. I obviously have no idea how much paint I should be using because I don't use it that often. Okay, so then I do think I want a little bit of um, water in there to kind of... I don't think I want it quite so intense, so I'm just going to try diluting it a little. Did you ever feel like you didn't want to mess up your whole sponge with something? But anyways, here goes. And again, different look or different paints, different colors are going to get you different results. So I think you'd step to keep playing till you find something you like. Could be a little more effect or a little more dramatic, I suppose, than that. All right, I'm going to try this one. Do it on this one because it already has some over splatter. And like I said, you could do this to match whatever project color you have going or whatever page. So for me, I would probably, if I was going to be interested in matching my color scheme for the certain page, then I would um, leave a bunch of these printed in my drawer and then when I was ready I would just reach for one and then proceed with the color. So that's the acrylic. Okay, so I've sprayed that again over my garbage can so that I won't spray everywhere on my desk here. Now I did spray this one I can see it somewhat. What I don't like about this one is how, I mean, it's my fault I applied the brush, but it's how the brush and the watercolor reacted to the paper that I'm not loving right there. I prefer this effect. I would just do it then with different colors. But, you know, you might like this look. You might have another way of doing this pencil crayons even watercolor pencil crayons they would work um, you could you know experiment and do what you like so I'll put this aside for now so that's those two I'm going to ink these as well I'll probably use all of these, just obviously not at the same time. But they will go into my stash. So what we have here is a bit of a mass make if you want to, um, you know, make a lot of pockets. And I seem to need a lot of pockets, so... I might actually go back into Photoshop and do this technique with other images. I have stamps, I just, I don't know, because I learned Photoshop, I kind of, I'm drawn to that program still, and that's one of my first go-tos, so, so that one's inked, and then with this pink one, I don't know, I'm kind of wishing I had coffee dyed this one. I'm going to try and dirty it up a bit more. It's a little bright for my taste. I'm more, I find I'm, sometimes I really like bright and then other times I prefer muted, so. And two, what I could have done was 
foiled these butterflies. That would have just given me gold butterflies on pockets. So I kind of like that. The It knocks back the pink a bit. Um, I might try to blend in the corners and the edges here that are still plain. See if I like that better. Now I have glitter on my dauber. Alright, so that ended up being a bit more grungy. And maybe that's why I like these. To me, they're a bit neater, although they have some, definitely got some grunge going on. So, um, what else? What else could we do? I feel like I want to try one more watercolor experiment here. Let me get this back. And then grab some of this burgundy. it on top of maybe just spatter a bunch I know it's going where it shouldn't go but welcome to spatter world okay so then before it dries woo! now I think that's where the alcohol ink would have come in handy but look at that. I kind of like that. Try this. Yeah, I should have just reached for the alcohol ink instead of the water, but I did both. I could um, mop some of this up if I really wanted to. But. So that was kind of fun. <laughs> okay, so now that has to dry. <laughs> that was a bit of a surprise. And I got it all over me. So, let's see. Paper towel, but before that, I'm just going to... So I did dab some of it off, as you can see. There's still some wet spots. That's, yeah, I got rid of quite a bit of the wetness. So what I wanna do is um, just clean up some of the spatters here. Okay, so then I could, see I prefer this, this was the same color, I prefer this spattered look compared to this one, so again, same color, but it even looks different. I'm hoping that the camera view is not too slanted. I'm noticing my stand is not, um, I'm not sure I couldn't get it any straighter, but it seems off to me. Okay, so there is another one done. So yeah, what do you think? Is that fun or what? I think my preferred method after playing this was number one, and this was probably number two, then this one, and then this one. Just because of how, how it looks in the end. So, play around, see what you like, and um, 
go for it. Have some fun. Like I said, it doesn't have to be butterflies. It can be any image. It can be stamped. It can be a, a digital. Um, yeah, just whatever you like and whatever you have. All right. So for today, since we're working in our healing journal, let me see. I'm kind of partial to this color, I think. Actually, either one would work really nicely. Try to do that right side up. And they're both left facing. Good to know. So what I need is... I need a page. bad. Could do that. That would be upside down. Let's not do that. Uh, I think I prefer that. Okay, glue time. Just when I think it's not going to work, it decides to come out and play. Okay, so do it about there. So while that is kind of drying, I'm trying to scrunch it up a bit so that there's a, like so that there's actually space in there. Not too much because you don't want it to warp a lot, but just a bit. All right. So then, while we're waiting for that to dry. we can read some scripture. Okay, I haven't done anything with these verses. Um, I think I'm going to just round the corners. First, you have to line them up. Proverbs 16, verse 24. Pleasant words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul, and healing to the bones. Proverbs 3, verse 7 and 8. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It will be healing to your body and refreshment to your bones. Psalm 103, verses 2 and 3. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget none of his benefits, who pardons all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases. Amen. All right. So that is our project for today. I hope you have fun with that. And two, I just noticed that I've got the black and white thing going on over here. 
which probably matches that so well and that's probably why I like it so anyways have fun experimenting and playing and um, be blessed and we'll see you next time bye for now